the luxury car from uh, 2002. This one is in bad shape. Just need to replace that. This one also. This one also. Hello, uh, look who's back after uh, some illness and uh, look what we got. So, uh, new year, new me, new Apollo, uh, new project. And uh, two old uh, rusty mechanics. I can't open the doors. <laughs> okay. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our crib. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Jaguar XJ, but uh, this is the sport version XJR. And uh, the most important thing, it's V8. You can see the badge, the most important part, V8 badge. So this is the luxury car from uh, 2002. It was quite expensive car when it was brand new. It was 76K or something? About 73, something like that. Yeah, yeah. so in today's money, when you have inflation and everything else, uh, it's uh, something around 123,000 US dollars. And during that time, you were able to buy uh, a house or this car. I don't know if it was a great uh, investment, uh, because right now, such car you can buy the salvage one for two or three thousand bucks. Apollo, what do you think? Doesn't look like a huge fan, but he's trying, you know. I, I know what he's trying to do. Look, looks wise. He's trying to mimic uh, the badge uh, of the Jaguar. He's a little French uh, Jaguar. Yeah? Good? Thank you. And uh, it's a really interesting thing. In, some markets it was unavailable. These uh, badges that uh, are curved and etc. Even this one, you can feel it and it's 3D badge. And in some markets it was uh, just flat and uh, due to safety regulations and etc. And here you can see that distinctive badge over here. Rokas, pop the hood. Because pop the hood. There is pop the, hood. the most important thing of this car. Okay. As we said, it's V8, but there is one the most important thing about this V8. It's supercharged. Ah. We like V8, superchargers, and turbo. For that time, when this car was released, uh, the numbers were huge. It was 370 horsepower. It was luxury car with uh, huge power. And uh, this car, uh, XJR, was even uh, more powerful than XJS, uh, which was the sport version of uh, XJ, and it had V12. And this one has a V8 uh, supercharged. What's additionally interesting, that it has the same one wiper system like uh, Mercedes. The old Mercedes had uh, one wiper and that's it. I don't know if it uh, works the same like uh, Mercedes. The wiper moves up and down, so I don't know, maybe we... Oh, this don't do that. <laughs> so it's a simple version, cheaper version. In that year there wasn't any, you know, good decisions making. <laughs> By United Kingdom uh, car makers? They tried to copy Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, uh, German engineering, as always, doing things a little bit differently and uh, in a higher level. But for this year, overall, the engine looks great and etc. The car on the outside, on the other hand, looks uh, classy, modern, something like that. Uh, we try to make it uh, to look classical, but uh, still have that modern look and you can find all the classical parts inside the interior. Let's take a look. It has some retro in him, in his 
or how to call Jaguar. <laughs> As you can see, it has uh, the distinctive J shape. Excuse me. It doesn't allow me to do that. You can hear it's gonna blow or something. So the thing is that the shifter shape was uh, J-shaped and uh, it's uh, called J-tronic or something. The thing is that you were able to use it as uh, some kind of sequential gearbox so you can move to the drive and uh, this side, the left side was completely left for uh, manual shifting. Another uh, classical thing about this car is analog clock, uh, which is, you know, something uh, that they try to keep uh, to make it more classy uh, and uh, the most important part about classical stuff is real wood you can find lots of wood on the doors on the steering wheel the interior it's a little bit uh, used and uh, old but otherwise it requires cleaning as you can see on the shifter Rockers left. Uh, I will like that one on my Honda, you know, with the with the wood, you know, the shifter. You wooden. want the wood? Yeah, yeah, wooden shifter. You want some sticks? No sticks. We have some wood for you. But you already <laughs> have some wood. <laughs> <laughs> ah, funny. Let's funny. let's come back to uh, the nasty stuff. Maybe it's yours on the shifter lever. It's there. Uh, over here. Uh, it's no, yours? No. It was already there. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Rock has left something over there. Don't Maybe. smoke two cigarettes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> because some of your liquids can get on the car. Okay, so the car requires uh, cleaning on the inside, wall interior seats and everything else. But on the outside, let's talk about what's wrong with this car. It's hard to see, but uh, Swiss will try to catch it. The car had hail damage, hood, the roof, the trunk, uh, it has hill marks. Uh, it's not too bad, uh, especially when the car is white. Uh, it's much harder to see, but uh, anyways, it has to be fixed. Additionally, we were talking about uh, the classic look. And the classic look is these uh, round headlights. And uh, these two are also in good shape in very good shape uh, additionally the rear bumper it requires some work yeah rockers few screws good to go yeah or some duct tape right like this and uh, would you like to have such antenna for your honda no no need this we are missing one yeah it definitely requires some stuff also totally playing with uh, fuel cap you have to open it from the inside, I guess. So it has such quirks like uh, fueling cap over here, or for example, uh, when you are talking about. Oh, Apollo, what are you doing here? Trying to drive. He found the perfect spot, I see. He's always uh, trying to get into the cars. Move your eyes away from him and uh, you will find him inside. Mister, you want to get out? Excuse me. Please and thank you. Bye bye. So. Uh, it has some quirks like over here. Guess what it is? Uh, when I found out, I was like, really? It's cruise control, like for real. I don't know how you decide to put it over here, but it's interesting. Additionally, it has a hidden telephone, uh, which is also something strange because some cars from the 2000s, they had huge phones on the armrest and etc. So. What I love the most about this car, and uh, especially Rockus loves about it, is the location of the handbrake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You like your handbrakes to hold something in your arms while driving. You smell very bad, take this with you. This time you uh, look at least uh, better than the last episode. We were talking when uh, he was looking like a homeless. So uh, today you can see he's uh, fully prepared to look uh, better and cleaner. We're still working on it. We still uh, have that 12 steps program with him. So he's uh, currently on the third step. For three months. We will move on. Okay, enough of uh, this bullshit. Let's uh, get it on the lift. We need to inspect 
the under the car. We need to inspect the uh, wall suspension, everything, and uh, at least fix something. Let's do it. Apollo, that's right. Look at the semi axles. <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen that? Mm, no. <laughs> nice. Okay, this one is in bad shape. Definitely need to replace that. This one also. This one is also. Oh, okay. But all the body don't have rusts. See? Yeah, the body looks good. Of course, from the forklift damaged. Also, forks damaged a little bit. Otherwise, it looks nice. We got some liquid here from steering wheel. Oh. It's really broken. What's the other side? Also the same. The steering column bushings, or how to call them, is also. The rubber is damaged. Uh, same here. What is this? Is it oil or not? It smells, I don't know, like... Maybe steering wheel? Maybe. Or oh, power steering. Maybe. But we will find out later about this. Now let's go on suspension. Yeah, it could be steering, because here it's leaking. But in the side, but also it's coming from the upper part. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you will check that. Obviously, you have something. I you also have something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, we have to replace some suspension parts and find out what is leaking. So, I think we can order parts and start to replace. For a 20-year-old car, it's not much to do. Everything looks pretty much like a new. Yeah, condition is really good. Maybe we'll find something else when we start doing something, but we'll see that. New progress. What nuts? What's wrong with them? Like a covers. Ah, yeah. Honda has almost the same kind of, so it's nothing new for me. <laughs> All strange cars have it. Rogas, I need help. I need some manpower. Now it's your problem. Oh shit! Yeah. A very strong guy. No problem. So for the front, we only have tie rods. Not for now. Everything is coming for later. One for you. One for me. Thank you. Three points. Oh, it's making a mess. Don't look in my house. Okay. <laughs> look how bad it is. Same with this one. Like your old shoes. good to mark the spot on the thread so when you're putting the new tie rod end uh, you will put it in the old position as it was. Also later on after all the, all the suspension works it's good to go for the suspension alignment and to bring the car on the stand where they could check all the basic stuff. What basic stuff? <laughs> alignment basic stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the rear. Walker. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Ooh. <laughs> Careful, boy. Hit it with the hammer. Okay, okay, okay. Up. What is this? Read the instructions. No, I don't need instructions. Self educated. Yeah. Take all the branches. It's gonna be too much. 
Robert. Yeah. It's for the front. So let's go to the front. <laughs> Just the rod ends. For the front, we only have tie rods. Uh, you were hiding these boxes. Yeah. I never seen those. My second name is faster. Your first name is slower. Faster, slower. Okay, look what I found. What is this? Box. It's from back, yeah? Probably. <laughs> so why going from front to back, front to back? More steps, better for your health. This is your workout. My workout, forward, backward, forward, backwards. To the back, to the end, to the back, to the front. So the last part, what we got is the drive shaft rubber. And it's gonna be all from the suspension for now, because the other parts is ordered, but not yet shipped. We are still waiting for them. So let's change that and put the car on the wheels. Start working. Stop drinking. I haven't drinked from the New Year's. But what about last episode? How it was in the last episode? It was before the New Year's. No. I forgotten the beer tastes. I don't remember what, what I was drinking. You forgot everything from the amount of beer. And I wasn't drinking. Oh yeah, I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember. Good memories uh, last short. <laughs> Uh, isn't that said like that? Or it's good memories know. last longer? This is your motto? My motto is crank a beer, especially when the weekend is coming. Some manpower. Oh, very tight. Oh, yeah. All the bones are broken. I'm gonna bring the oil. <laughs> oh, 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 Shoot! What's happening? For white car, white filter. Matching Everything colors. is in style. Like a hot shopper. My girlfriend is waiting for me with the dinner. Beer lady. <laughs> Beer lady. Your girlfriend is bartender. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, few more milliliters and you are good to go. And just out. Yeah, normal. <laughs> <laughs> What's left? Test drive? Yeah, I think so. To check if the suspension is working. Or would you like this car? I don't really like it. I think it's better for you. I would love it, but it's not for my pocket. The gas is too expensive. Done? Done. Done. I can try it? Yeah, Why of you? Course. Why not me or him? Because you're going to crash it. <laughs> and he is... Uh... Too small. <laughs> <laughs> to handle that engine. <laughs> <laughs> it has too much power. Let's try it. Go. Yeah. Please sit. Maybe, maybe, maybe a few balls are not tightened. We can go. I don't want to try it because Rob has connected all the points. So you can lose the wheel. Uh, I wasn't working with the wheels. You were. Have you talked uh, wheels? Those did that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Didn't that. How much the torques we need? Google it. Always Google it. 
scrolling now. Yeah, he's right now, he's uh, watching reels. One eternity later. Come on, Rocket. It's like a lot old, too man. much information for... <laughs> oh, loose balls. Good to go. As soon as uh, we're gonna make money, I will buy such luxury car, the house, and I'm gonna be super important, very important person. Look at him. He's uh, cleaning the floor for me, for the best car. <laughs> Guys, you think uh, such car would fit for me? Uh, I don't think so. I need something bigger, like uh, Ram or something like that. But you know, there is one thing that we need to do with every new project car, and especially the one with uh, rear wheel drive. Let's have some fun. Summer tires. Summer tires. Not good for. This Not kind good for of winter. Drive. Remember summer <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, should we do burnout or not? I think it's time to go to Mexico. Yeah. So, quick teleport. Sorry, we have technical difficulties with the doors. I think it's enough because we still have to get back from Mexico. We need to visit the petrol station. It's a long way to go. It's cold. cold we definitely need to wait for snow to melt. It's not typical weather for the Mexico. For the Mexico. Yeah, yeah, for the Mexico, lots of snow, it's cold. So thank you. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you for staying with us and uh, for this year, we're gonna have more fun. So don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, crank that beer. And uh, see you next time, bye. There is sound of something unlocking, but- Guys, uh, yeah. uh, you need to warm up. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I have some Jaguar and we got Jaguar over here. And I see that you have frozen trunk, yeah? Yeah. So. This is some non-alcoholic rum. Non-alcoholic rum. I would like to taste it. I would you would like it, to taste but it's, everything. It's almost empty what you're gonna do with this small amount of alcohol. Maybe, maybe we had some... It's just for me? Maybe we had some time with Toto. What? Diet Coke? <laughs> okay. Go to work. Offer a drink. Don't give me a drink. What to do with him? Next time I'll definitely will not put all the screws together in the car. Yeah, yeah. Go to work. There's nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs>